Hello students, welcome to Library 100. I'm very glad that you are here. This is a picture of me at the beach, near where I live in Half Moon Bay. Here's a picture of my dog, Charlie. As you can see, he is ready to get out of here. In my spare time, I like to take walks with my dog, hang out with my husband, and watch and discuss movies with my friends. In this class, you will learn how to locate and retrieve college level resources, Evaluate information from a variety of resources using a defined set of standards and effectively integrate and cite sources. This class is divided up into weekly units. The first unit is an introduction to Library 100. It includes an introduction assignment, an extra credit assignment, and an optional Library 100 survey. In each unit, you will have a short introduction, two to three videos, typically under five minutes each, a quiz on those videos, and an assignment to practice what you learned in the videos. To navigate this course, you click on the first item in the unit. This will usually be an introduction to what you'll be learning about in the unit and what assignments you need to complete. On the bottom of the page, click the next button to go to the next item you need to read, watch, or complete. From the course homepage, you can also click on the items in a unit. You will need to complete the items in order, but once they are completed, you can access them again anytime. I recommend that once you complete a unit, you click on the arrow next to the unit title to collapse and hide the unit. This will make it easier to complete the units you need to do as you don't have to do a bunch of scrolling to get to them. To check your grades, click on Grades in the left-hand menu. Here you can see the assignment, the due date, and your score. If I've left comments on your assignment, you can click on this icon to see the comments. If I used a rubric to grade your assignment, you can click on the clipboard icon to see the rubric. If you have questions, the best way to contact me is sending me an email through Canvas. You can do this by clicking on the inbox icon to the left and then clicking on the compose a new message button.